I'm going to paint this outdated slate tile floor and turn it into a concrete looking contemporary floor. Stay tuned! This is the first video of a bathroom makeover on a budget series. I'm going to transform this outdated bathroom and give it a complete makeover on a budget without changing the tiles which would be the costliest of all and I don't want to reveal more for now you will see when the time comes at the moment I'm in the middle of my kitchen makeover series so this has to stay in the back burner for a while probably about a month or so I still have plenty of things to do in that kitchen if you haven't seen my kitchen makeover series yet I have a link above for you for the playlist but today I'm going to start with the floor of this bathroom I have a beautiful slate tile on the floor but unfortunately it's outdated and I like to get a more contemporary style I'm gonna be using Rust-Oleum Rock Solid Home Interior Floor Coating System Rust-Oleum comes in different shades of grey and mine came in a wrong shade I ordered online from Home Depot and I didn't want to send it back so I just went to paint department and get it dyed in a darker shade and that's the one on the left so now I like this one a lot first step is to prepare the floor for paint I'm going to clean the floor really good this is a very important step that you cannot skip or be sloppy paint needs to stick to tiles not the dirt or grease if you want to get a long lasting results I'm using powdered abrasive cleaner grease removing dissolving solution hard bristle scrub brush I tell you, scrubbing the floor was the hardest part of this project, but I did a good job. I really did clean all the cracks and crevices, grout lines. So once finished with cleaning, next step is taping the perimeter of the wall as well as the fixtures like toilet bowl and anything else touching the floor with painter's tape. This will save you time while painting the floor. This way you don't have to cut the edges with brush. You can just roll your roller. I'm changing this thing soon, but I'm gonna tape it anyways. So taping is done. Now we're ready for painting. This kit has two components. Uh, one is the base coat with the color and the other one is the top coat, the sealer. That's a clear finish. Good thing about this kit is that you don't have to sand or anything to the surface, just cleaning. It's an easy DIY job to tackle. I bought my kit about a while ago. And as you see, there's a color separation, so I need to mix this real well. Pour some in your paint tray. I usually use like a plastic bag for my paint tray. So when I'm done with painting, I just throw it away. So that way my tray is clean. And so for this job, I use three eight inch nap paint roller. And also I use the extension pole, which I highly recommend. Made it much, much easier to paint the floor. So I didn't have to bend and, you know, put my knees on the floor. Taping also made the job so much easier on me. I just rolled the paint without needing to cut the edges with the brush. I just used the brush in a couple of areas where a roller couldn't reach. So you should definitely keep a brush handy. Instruction says we only need to put one coat of base and one coat of top coat. Base coat supposed to dry in six hours. They recommend you to keep a wet edge when painting 
meaning that don't let the paint dry and come back and uh, paint next to it so you're just gonna have to be well you're just gonna have to be quick and if it's a big area I guess you just go back and kind of touch up to get it wet again so it doesn't dry up by the time you come back to paint next to it but I didn't really have to worry about that in this bathroom this is a small area I am done with the base coat I supposed to wait about six hours before I apply the top coat so I'm going to leave it alone and drying already started as you can see the difference color difference it was dark outside by the time I came back six hours later and the paint was dry but I would not step on it with the shoes just you know with your socks would be good and this is the top coat it has this white milky uh, color but it is going to dry into a clear coat so don't worry about those white streaks that your brush or your roller leaves behind they will all disappear when, by the time it's dry so there are two finishes for this top coat matte and glossy mine is matte finish I don't want too glossy especially in the bathroom it's not that safe to have a glossy finish even anywhere else I wouldn't use the glossy finish now I'm going to let this dry for 24 hours and after that it's okay for a light foot traffic and then the whole cure takes seven days to become like really rock solid as the name suggests and until then I would be gentle to it make sure not to put any heavy objects on it so next day less than 24 hours actually it was dry it was dry to touch I was able to step on it of course I was careful and I am loving the result it looks gorgeous it looks just so gorgeous I wish I did this before that's my only regret I waited for so long this ends the first step of my bathroom makeover rest will be coming up in the near future so check back on me to see what's going on Thanks for visiting, until the next time, bye!